Hi, my name is Bernd Herth. I'm working at NetApp's SAP Competence Center in Waldorf. And in this video, I'd like to show you how to use Azure NetApp files for your SAP landscapes in Azure. In this video, I'd like to focus on shared files for your SAP systems. We have application servers, any DB databases, or even SAP HANA. All of them require shared files, such as your transport directory, HANA shared, or even the, the backup or log backup areas that require to be mounted as shared files for your systems. One solution to do this is using Azure NetApp files. Let's look at the application server, um, sub MNT, user sub trans, or even user sub SID is a typical candidate for moving uh, from local disk to shared file system with Azure NetApp files, where we replace them instead of locally with an NFS mount. We can even simplify the management by mounting only one volume, uh, which also improves performance and optimizes the data protection. It is a simple process to create a share and map it to your virtual machine within your virtual network. First, you have to create a capacity pool. You need to assign a service level. There are three service levels available and a quota or size. Both of them is used to define the overall throughput that this capacity pool can provide. You can always change the service level or the size of the capacity pool later. Within a capacity pool, you can create a volume. The volume is also assigned to a quota, which defines the overall throughput of that volume. This volume is exported with an IP from the delegated subnet. Now let's go to the Azure portal. So here we are in our storage account and selecting capacity pool to create a first pool. You have to specify the name and the size between four and 100 terabyte. The service level is gray here in our demo, but uh, in the final version, we have three options. So clicking OK starts the workflow, which will create the capacity pool. Once again, size as well as service level could later on be changed, so you can adapt to your needs or tune the system. The next step is to add a volume. So selecting one of the capacity pools will uh, drill down into the pool so we can select volumes here to add our first volume. A volume has a name, a size between 100 gigabyte and the uh, capacity pools limit, a virtual network, and as mentioned previously, a delegated subnet where the IP will be mapped for the export. So we have to validate and review the values and then start the final workflow to create the volume. This will take typically a minute. Now after a minute, you have your volume and you can select that volume out of the pool in order to go to the volume properties. Inside the volume, you can change the size, you can adapt the access permissions, and to get it started, we can also look at the mount instructions. So in the mount instructions, you, you find hints how to uh, set up your operating system or the simple mount command um, that is required to mount that NFS volume into your system. After that, it is pretty much a standard procedure. You have to adapt the OS directories, maybe create the folders in the volume, change your ETC FS tab, and finally mount the volume and start the SAP installation. You've seen it is a simple two-step procedure to use Azure NetApp files as shared files for your SAP systems in the Azure Cloud.